With all of the talk recently about Blizzard cracking down on trolls, people who boost or throw their matches, there's been a lot of growing concern about players being banned for playing off meta heroes. I've seen countless comments in my recent videos discussing this topic and threads popping up all over the place. So I wanted to make a video addressing this concern and talking with you guys about the notion of getting banned for playing Hanzo or, or Widowmaker or whoever. Now, there is some warrant to this because in the year since Overwatch launched we have seen various reports of players getting banned for picking Torbjorn, Symmetra, and even Hanzo. In fact I did a video late last year about a Widow main who was constantly being reported and as a result of that kept receiving chat bans. So it makes sense that there is some uh, underlying sentiment in the community that there people are worried for playing heroes that other people don't like they're gonna to get reported a ton and those reports will result in a ban but we have to ask ourselves the question how do they determine who to ban because obviously they're not sitting down and watching every single match and every single player looking for people who are trolling of course not they quite simply rely on reporting but do they rely on just reports do they just see a, a volume of reports coming in and, and read everything and be like well check this person off the list they're getting banned in the next wave. No, it's not quite that simple. Yes, they rely on reporting, but they rely on reporting if their system functions like most other systems do to just get to a certain threshold. They look for players to reach a certain number of reports, and then they begin their investigation. And their investigation is likely broken down into a few different things. When, when they're going to determine if someone is trolling and truly deserving of a ban. So first off, they likely have data and logs of player action where they can quickly and easily see things like their idle time in a match, if they're just like spamming emotes, if they're spending a lot of time not shooting, if they're dying a ton and whether those deaths are from other players or whether they're suicides by jumping off of cliffs or into environmental hazards. And then on top of that, they also have algorithms. Jeff himself has mentioned that they have both manual and auto detection methods. So they likely have algorithms in place to look for certain key factors of player behavior in matches and look for a uh, repetition of those in many different games to determine if they should flag someone's account for an effective ban in the future. And then on top of all of this, they have video. It has been stated that Blizzard currently has an internal replay system. In fact, that's a feature that we the players will be getting at some point in the future. We will eventually have replays of our games that we can go back and look at. Now, as I said, they don't and they likely don't don't even have the manpower if they wanted to go through every single video of every single match. What's likely to happen is that once a player reaches a reporting threshold, then future reports that go through will likely also save a video file of that match for them to play back and look at it. And on all of these methods, some combination of them manually looking at the data, uh, using the algorithms to automatically flag certain behaviors, and then just looking at actual videos tied to players who get reports, all of this is going to be used to determine if someone is worthy of a ban. Blizzard clearly has a lot of stuff in place, so should we be concerned about getting banned for our hero picks? I'm going to say no. It doesn't seem very likely that that is a major concern. Now, I mentioned at the top of the video that, yeah, over the past year, we have seen a ton of different reports of Torbjorn, Metro, Hanzo mains supposedly getting banned just for picking those heroes, and I think it's because because of those reports and people talking about them that we do have some in the community concerned about it happening again in the future. However, a lot of follow-up to those reports in the past have proven that they were largely unfounded. That yes, some people were getting banned who did primarily play those heroes, but they weren't banned because they played those heroes. They were actually banned for shitty behavior or being toxic in voice or in chat as evidence came out of people who played with them in their matches, screenshots, and videos of them just uh, behaving poorly, I guess we would say. So no, it's not just because you pick those heroes and you get reported a ton that you're going to be banned. If you are banned, it'll likely be because of other reasons that Blizzard determines after they manually use their algorithm or even visually see in video replays uh, the way that you're acting in your matches. But just picking Hanzo, just picking Sombra, that's not 
gonna be enough to get you banned. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it for me here today. As always, I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have a good one, and until next time, I'll see you later.